a day like today like? Obviously, with the way the last month's been, does it feel different at all being out here? Is it cool to, to be able to come back out and just, you know, talk to people and see people, you know, Dodger fans again? Yeah, I think, you know, obviously, uh, since signing in Boston, uh, there's been a lot of questions. Uh, what are we going to do with our foundation? Are we staying in Los Angeles? And, um, you know, we want to make sure everyone here in, in our city uh, understands that the foundation isn't going anywhere. We're still going to be putting on events and raising money, and um, you know we've been trying to put on, put together a blood drive for several months now, and uh, it just so happened that uh, they usually don't come out and do this on Sundays. But uh, we we asked if we can do it on JT Day in LA, the 22nd, and uh, CHLA was completely on board with it and wanted to do it and it started out as just that just the truck coming out and doing a blood drive and it's turned into uh, everything you're seeing out here today and uh, it's just kind of the way the Dream Center rolls and uh, it's kind of how we roll as a foundation just uh, pick up the phone make some phone calls get as much support as we can and then you know try to put together a great day for everyone in the community for great causes. How many, do you know how many people are going to be out here today? Uh, we had over a thousand people RSVP, okay. so um, we're going to be here from 9 to 4. Uh, we're expecting a bunch of people um, walking up. We had uh, uh, people that lived in the apartments across the street yeah. look out their window yeah. already and say, oh my gosh, we didn't know you guys were up here. So uh, they came up here and uh, hopefully it's just a, a day full of celebration. I remember from the first Justin Turner Day and just kind of that ceremony. Yeah, I remember you know being over in, in City Hall and uh, all the city council members putting on orange beards, and I honestly had no idea what it was. I, I was just like, okay, uh, you know, they're naming it Justin Turner Day. I didn't know what I was doing. I didn't know, you know, what the the agenda was. And then you know, walking in there and seeing everyone bearding up, and then hearing so many kind words for Courtney and I about what we were doing, what we were trying to do and accomplish in the community was uh, was pretty incredible so uh, you know, we're, we're still growing uh, we're still getting better and uh, just trying to make a even bigger impact in the community so it's still a little bit of a pinch moment when this day to know that you have a day in the city yeah a hundred percent you know I think I think at the time it was meant to just be one day uh, for that year <laughs> but uh, you know especially with everything going on and, and uh, you know, going to the Red Sox, we thought this would be a great chance to, you know, celebrate JT Day in LA and uh, get a lot of people out, donate a lot of blood that's going to save uh, a lot of kids and help a lot of kids continue their fight and, um, you know, get as many people up here uh, that have great causes as well. You know, how much, like, with the foundation, like, kind of how in season it's going to look yet? Is that, like, one of the things you're kind of working through? Yeah, so we do do a couple of in-season events now, uh, especially with the 5K, yeah. um, trying to figure that out, whether, you know, we still do that in Los Angeles. Uh, somehow, you know, we do have a, with the Red Sox, we do have a road trip where we come out and play the Angels and then go down to San Diego. Uh, so there is a window to possibly do it then, um, or go back to virtual, which we've done in the past, um, or, you know, haven't got the chance to talk to too many people or meet too many people, like maybe doing something in Boston, but um, I, that's probably a, a pretty big reach. I don't really see that happening. Um, and then we have our bingo event too, and, and we've still been in contact with MLB and um, you know over the All-Star break, the All-Star games in Seattle this year. So um, having those conversations on whether or not we're gonna you know do the All-Star bingo again up in Seattle for the All-Star weekend. Okay, morning everyone. It's still morning? It is still morning. All right. um, I know you've heard us talk a lot about this place, uh, the Dream Center, and how special it is to us. Um, there's so many people here that make this place go, but there is one guy who is pretty special to this place, and it just so happens that today is his birthday. And it's his 49th birthday. Sorry, I'm telling your age. It's his 49th birthday, but he means so much to this place, and he's got so much energy, and he's always supported our foundation so much. So I think we should bring him up here, and we should all maybe sing happy birthday to him. Come up here, PM. Come up here, Matthew. All right, on the count of three, we're going to sing happy birthday to Pastor Matthew, okay? Ready? One, two, three. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday.
Before I give the mic to you, because I'm going to ask you to say a couple of things about this place that's so amazing. Um, you know, PM is, we call him PM. Uh, he's been asking for his birthday donations to the foundation in increments of 49. So like 49 cents, $4.90, or $49, or $490, or $4,900, or $49,000. I shot to 4900 because I didn't think that. I thought that was a max. So just... Okay, well, we got a new max. We're going to donate $49,000 yeah! from the Jesse Turner Foundation what? for Pastor Matthew's birthday. So. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, I got to sign the check. Oh, my goodness. Wow. Oh, my goodness. Happy birthday! Wow! I can't believe I got all the numbers right. <laughs>